Glórias a Jesus. Eu saúdo a amada igreja. Mas with the Lord, I greet the church and the ones who are connected with us from the other church in Houston, Marietta, Port St. Lucie, and with the peace of the Lord Jesus. I'd like to invite those who can to stand up. We're going to be reading the word of the Lord in the book of Songs of Solomon. Songs of Solomon, chapter 3. The book of Songs of Solomon, chapter 3, verses 1, 2, 3, and 4. Verse 1, 2, 3, and 4. Song, chapter 3. Chapter 3. No, chapter 3. The projection, right? Não está aparecendo? O que você fez? Amen. What the Lord says the following: By night, on my bed, I sought the one I love. I sought him, but I did not find him. I will rise now, I said, and go about the city. In the streets and in the squares, I will seek the one I love. I sought him, but I did not find him. The watchmen who go about the city found me. I said, have you seen the one I love? Carelessly had I passed by them when I found the one I love. Amen. Only to hear. My uh, Lord, we want once again to plead to you and ask the help from the Lord, ask for the grace that it's poured out upon our lives and that nothing that is being said here comes from men and that man may everything that comes from the man may fall to the ground and only the voice of the Holy Spirit may come to our hearts and we may be able to reach what you have prepared for each one of us tonight. Open up our hearts. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. My beloved, I have a question to ask. Who wants to find the one that loves your soul or, or the one your soul loves? Who wants? If I ask anyone to raise their hands, I think that everyone will raise their hand because our soul wants to find the one that has everything to offer us, the one who died on the cross. Our soul. Who doesn't want to find a good food or a good something to drink or something, uh, a nice place? Our soul wants to find the one who shed the blood of Jesus, the blood on the cross, our Lord Jesus. We all want to find it the beloved of our souls. On the text that we read, we see that the text starts at night. At night. We know that at night, the night speaks about a prophetic moment. And it's a moment that precedes the rapture of the church the beginning of the birthing pains. We know that the night is not the rapture yet. Midnight, yes, the night speaks about our times, 
the days in which you are living, the final period of the church. We know that the midnight is coming close, very close. Can you hear us? Is it better? Amen. We're not there yet. But the church is walking towards that place. The church is marching in steady steps and with confidence that we are going to get there. However, the detail is that the word here tells us that, that there is a person that is seeking the beloved uh, of their soul. And the text continues saying, but I found, I saw it on my bed, the one who loves my soul. She didn't find the bed. The bed speaks about a place of rest. A comfortable place where you go there to rest. We know that we suffered and we were impacted harshly by the pandemic, harshly. Many of us lost brethren or family members. The Lord took a few. Others took a long time to recover. The bed speaks of being uh, in your, inside your comfort zone. I'm not saying that someone is, is, is something that is lazy, someone that is lazy, but the Bible says that you're not supposed to be in bed. Being in your comfort zone is not the place of the Christian. It's not the place of the servant of the Lord. You know why? Because the word moves forward, the, the church marches, the, the church has a target, it's not standing still, the church is walking, and the one who propels the church is the Holy Spirit, it is the one that says, says, go, go, I'm going ahead of you, and the Spirit give us, gives all the resources for the church to proceed, surely we're going to go through this period. I don't know what is your situation, you who came to the house of the Lord, if you're sad, I don't know if you're happy, I don't know if you're sad with a couple of things, if you have complained with the Lord about a few things, if your prayer has not already been answered, I don't know. But this place, this being standing still is not a place that the Lord wants you. The Lord wants you walking with steady strides without looking to the left or to the right. The church is not standing still. Much on the contrary, the church advances. Because there, we are not going to find our beloved. In verse 2, it says the following, I will get up. I will rise now. So the church realized that she, there she's not going to find anything so she will rise up so she's going to look somewhere to find the beloved of her soul and beloved today we've passed through this difficult period of covid and blessed be the name of the lord because of zoom because we may even complain about it but it was what kept uh, kept us going that helps us to remain active, hearing the word of God. I will rise up. We are at the moment that there has been a revival. I like to hear this word to the youth. We have seen things that is amazing happening in the midst of the youth. The precious seed, youth without borders. Gospel without borders. Gospel without borders. We've seen things, miracles happening. 
you know, those meetings. Yesterday we participated on one. I was speaking with a brother there uh, uh, earlier, and a youth from Boston, she has worked on the gap, and the Lord has used her in a mighty way, and the Lord has honored her. Not for our glory, but for the glory of the Lord. Youth, if you want to be a blessing for the glory of the Lord, get involved. Don't feel lazy. Rise up, because the resources are there. The resources are available. We have no reason to complain. Stay on the gap, and the Lord is going to use you. He's going to honor you. The Lord is going to do things through you that you cannot even imagine. I will rise up and go about the city, in the streets, in the squares. See, we know it speaks about a place of uh, there is a crowd and there are lights on the streets. We know that the streets at night, it's a dangerous place in anywhere, not only in Brazil, here as well. The streets at night, they are dangerous. We need to be careful. Whatever, whatever you seek, the beloved of your soul. To the squares, we have had studies about the 11th hour on the squares public squares. There was, a, I, there was a, a small public square in the town where I came from. And we had nothing to do. We would go there, play domino. Square is a place for people that have nothing to do. Idle people. It's not a place for Christians, for the cities, for the streets, for the squares. As I said, we have the resources. We are not, at the moment, We are being confused. We don't know where to go. No, we know exactly where we're going, where we came from, where we are, where to the place where we are going. The faithful church of the Lord. Not going to the city, not going to the streets, or to the squares to seek the one who loves their soul. You know why? Because the one who loves my soul, I sought and I was not able to find. You know, want to find, you want to seek the beloved of a soul. The three says, the watchmen who go about the city found me. The watchmen here, they speak of people that know the law. They even know the word of God. Be careful because many of those, they they don't have the same fellowship with our doctrine of uh, seeking the will of the Lord through the Word, of reading the Word and the spiritual gifts, because that's what sustains the church, your early dawn, because this is what sustains the church. The means of grace is what sustains the, the faith of the church of the Lord and removes the fold from, with, from in front of the eyes of the church. If you are seeking the Lord, consulting the Word, and fasting, any doubt, anything that may cause man not to be able to see is removed. The Lord has this power, the doctrine of the Lord, the doctrine in which we are a part of, that was revealed to us, has brought joy to us, has brought a revival to us, it has opened up our eyes. We know the prophetic moment in which we are living. And we proclaim this to the world. And it was the word continues saying. And I asked him, Have you seen the one I love? Yeah, the church. She asked, and what did they answer? They didn't know. You know why? Because they don't have revelation. So you know what happens? Scarcely had I passed by them. You know what happened? I found the Lord. So let's sing a song, my brother. Amen. 
The Lord is alive and He speaks. He reveals Himself. We have found the beloved of our soul here in this place. Every day He speaks to us. And you know, my, my brethren, my beloved, because we set ourselves apart from what does not glorify the Lord, you don't need to go far away. You need to seek it in another place. You, you don't need to seek another church. You just come here. Depart from the things that set you apart from the Lord. And you know how you find it? Through revelation in the Spirit. Through the pleading of the blood of Jesus. On an early dawn and consultation of the Word, you find the beloved of our soul. And tonight is a night of salvation. He wants to reveal Himself to you. He wants to reveal Himself to you. He wants to attain the direction of your life. He wants to give a new life. He wants you, you to set yourself apart from the things that does not please Him so you can find rest, salvation, and eternal life. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And this I can guarantee you. Depart from the things that do not glorify the Lord. We need to depart. The more we... Uh, go apart from the world the closer, the closer we get to the Lord that's a fact blessed be the name of the Lord I'd like to ask one of the brethren to stand up and and I'd like to ask two words of glorification to the Lord for your word because one day we found the beloved of our soul and Jesus he is the beloved of our soul and we found him and the word continues saying and I kept him. Do not miss it. Keep him. Grab on to him with strength. With all your might. Stay in the presence of the Lord because the Lord has great things to do in our life. Let's have two words of glorification to the Lord. I will praise you. We praise the Lord because we found. We have a door that has been opened, the cross of Calvary, to rescue our soul, to bring us back into your presence. Lord. Thank you for the care that you have toward us, even though you don't deserve it, Lord. You want your infinite mercy, Lord, rescued us, has blessed us, Lord. We for everything in the name of Jesus. One more glorification. Lord, we want to glorify and praise your name because your salvation renewed in our hearts, because we can live this experience every moment in, our, in your presence. We're thankful to you, Lord, because we are in your house, because we have the means to praise your name. We praise your name in the holy name of Jesus. Amen.
to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I invite the church to stand up, my brethren. The Lord gave a couple of gifts, spiritual gifts to, for the service, and one of the spiritual gifts, the Lord was speaking directly to a, a, a sister and that she has had in her heart a great desire to pray for her family members that do not serve the Lord. And the Lord is confirming God's desire also to save your family members. The Lord will honor your request, your plea, and on God's time, they will be saved. So wait on the Lord. Oh, when is it going to be? Tomorrow, the day after, is in God's time. The Lord acts in a way that we do not understand. But every action of the Lord is to our benefit. So wait in the Lord. Don't give up on praying. Never stop praying. And trust in the power of God. The Lord was, is also speaking about a, a, a man. He has received the Lord from the Lord a couple of signs. He has received from the part of the Lord certain indications from the Lord regarding what he needs to do and stop to do in order to come closer to the Lord. And sometimes he rejects it or do not accept it. But tonight the Lord is giving him a deliverance. Amen. The message speaks exactly about this. At night I sought the Lord in my bed. It's not that's not the place to seek the Lord in your comfort zone. The Lord the, the place to seek the Lord is in the vineyard in the vineyard working, allowing the Lord to operate, doing the will of the Lord. The faithful church identifies in the word the prophetic time in which the church is living. So if you are comfortable and idle, you are not part of the faithful church. So you need to seek in the word, the prophetic moment in which we are living. It is the moment for us to be working, the moment for the return of the Lord Jesus. Rise your head get out of your comfort zone do what has prevented you from progress from and come to work to the lord and the lord is also has shown about another sister who came here and she always comes here with and she brings her complaints and and what bothers her sometimes but tonight the lord did something different in her life. The Lord answered to all her complaints. And the Lord now is taking all of this and giving you uh, a light yoke. The Lord is making an exchange with you. Whatever bothers you and brings sadness to you and create discomfort to you, place it in God's author. Because this yoke is really heavy. The sin causes men not to be able to withstand the walk. But tonight the Lord is giving you walk, giving you something that you always needed to be free in the presence of the Lord. Carry the yoke of the Lord because it's, it's soft and light. We can all we always have right we all have right the right to complain, but this is doesn't help in any way. The servant of the Lord was called to serve. Isn't it true? The servant serves. And we have a God that is mighty. We have a God that is love. We have a God that is merciful. We have a God that sent His only Son to take our place, a place that we could never fulfill. This is our God. This is our God, the one that he did not even spare his own son, but he has spared us, has taken away our, our pain, he take, has taken away our suffering and placed in us an eternal life. So our experience and our reason is 
our experience is gratitude to the Lord. So be thankful to the Lord for everything that has done and everything that has given you. Let's finish this service with a prayer. And soon after, we're going to give assistance to the church and also uh, on the place that the brethren are participating in Zoom. YouTube, you can't do this, but through Zoom, we have this blessing because whoever is in Zoom, it's better. Better is to be in the church, of course. My second option is Zoom. The ones who can't, who are unable to be here, Zoom will be option B because here you can interact, you can ask for prayer, you can if you can pray for you. So, so close your eyes, Lord God. At this moment, we glorify your name because once again we're going to leave your heart, your house completely filled, Lord. We're going to leave your church renewed, filled with the grace, filled with love, filled with your forgiveness, Lord, and with a head held up. Because you know that to this place you have helped us. Give us a night of rest in your presence, preparing us, Lord, for tomorrow when we're going to have a uh, spiritual feast already in the morning, we're going to have a promotion of our children. Lord, this is our joy to see them growing in your presence, knowing your mysteries, embracing, Lord, the work that has been given by you, Lord. Take us home in peace. Uh, uh, have, uh, bless us, uh, visit us with dreams and bringing greater joy to our hearts. This is a prayer that we say in the name of Jesus. In your name we say that the wonderful grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the love of God, our eternal Father, the sweet and tender consolation and the gift of the Holy Spirit may be poured out upon all of us now and forevermore. Amen. The church may be seated. We're going to quickly raise the volume, lower the volume for the church on Zoom so that the brand can give assistance to the ones who are on Zoom. Tomorrow in the morning, we're going to be here. The church is invited to participate with us of this feast, the moment that they wait so eagerly, which is their promotion. So famous promotion, because this is a sign of growth, a sign of advancement. is a way for them to work. They grow, they are promoted, and soon they will become youth. Amen. So tomorrow at 10.30 we'll be here. And let's pray throughout the week, we, because next week, next Saturday, a week from now, we're going to have a special event with our adolescents, a special service for them. We're going to be praying for this. It's not going to be at 7.30. It's going to be 7 p.m. So I'm going to uh, inform the group, so already be pay attention to this. 7 p.m. We're going to be all here participating in the service. Amen. And Sunday morning, there's going to be another event and for the the, small, the children and intermediates. It's going to be 7 o'clock on Saturday and it's going to be 10 o'clock on Sunday. Peace of the Lord. The invitations are available, also virtual. We also have printed invitation so that the brethren can pick up whatever you want. Amen. Peace of the Lord Jesus. So we're going to have a quick... Uh, Rehearsal with the children for the seminar. Amen. If you raise your hand, if you desire, we're going to go towards you to pray with you.